Welcome back. All week we've been featuring the best of our town. Carney, right here on 1011 Now. That's right. And right now we are joined by the man who is responsible for much of what we've highlighted here today. It is Lance Schwartz. We welcome you. And uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome. And what were some of the memorable stories, standout stories for you this time around? There were so many. And I have to tell you that. Kearney is absolutely one of my favorite cities in the state of Nebraska. It's the fifth largest city, more than 33,000 people there, and I really get the feeling there's a lot of pride that goes into being a member of that Kearney community. I moved there in 1992, and I could even tell way back then, a quarter of a century ago, that people loved living there, and a lot of it had to do with UNK, but I tell you, there's, there's some new reasons to love mm -hmm. our town Kearney, and one of them is the Whitewater Canal. And we saw the story a little bit earlier here, but oh my goodness, they just are taking advantage of a great natural resource right there. And the work they have done is immense. They have taken uh, 17 tons, that's tons, wow. of trash, like car bodies and transmissions out of there. Wow. You have no idea what that used to look like. It looks like, oh, look at Jason just cruising down there. Well. It wouldn't have looked like that, you know, <laughs> five years ago. It took some time and some effort, didn't it? They absolutely did. And I didn't get to jump in a kayak, but I'm telling you, I am sure planning on it. Look at that. It's about 45 minutes. You cruise down there about two and a half miles. And Jason Tay is the man. He has a place called Carney Paddle Sports. He kind of just dreamed this business up because of this. He says that you can actually go further down the canal and you can actually get into the Platte River. And that's about a two to three uh, hour deal. Doesn't that sound like fun? That does. It really mm -hmm. sounds fun and what a draw. I mean, what a tourism draw for, sure. for the city. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's Kearney Paddle Sports. That's the place to go. And, mm -hmm. and let's talk about UNK. That really creates a lot of the heartbeat. The energy from Kearney is derived from Loper Land. And man, the chancellor, he has been there 16 years. Mr. Christensen is, wow, he's a, a great leader for that place. And, and there is so much going on. It was fun getting to talk to Todd Gatula. He does a lot of the communications and he talked about that momentum and you can totally see it. That right there is across the street. That could be, you know, 25 years before that is really up and running. Uh, but there are a lot of uh, buildings that are going up. That is the, the union. That is going to be great too. I mean, millions and millions of dollars are going into that place. And I can see why uh, people are coming from around the world to go to UNK. Yeah. And, you know, our town, Kearney, is really a place where you find a lot of great business mm -hmm. as well as education and tourism. Oh, for sure. Eaton Corporation was so very impressive. They have really done a lot in the last couple of years to up their image around town. And uh, Scott Bailey has a lot to do with that. He has given these people a pride in what they're doing. More than 600, that's like a small Nebraska town that works at Eaton. Yes. So it is so impressive and it's a hot and loud place to work, but boy, do they do great work and they send billions of dollars worth mm -hmm. of uh, pro production there around the world. So I was just so totally impressed with our town Kearney from start to finish and I guess you guys can probably see why now. Right. Yes, we can. And lots to do. Oh my gosh. Of activities in Kearney, right? Summer Activities Guide 2018. Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, young and old, lot to do in OTK. Okay. Right. Thank oh. you, Lance. Yes, yep. thank you. And that'll do it for us tonight. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.